Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video series, I'll be sharing seven tips and tricks on how to read faster. In fact, many of these techniques are tried and true methods that I've been working on for years and you won't see in any other videos. Keep watching. Tip number five, increase your vocabulary and knowledge base. Now I know that it's easier said than done, but logically, having a bigger vocabulary and an increased knowledge base makes it easier to read faster in many situations because it means that you don't need to stop to look up words or explanations about concepts. Imagine that you're reading a sentence containing 10 words, but you didn't know what five of the words mean. Depending on where they appeared and how important they are in the sentence, this could mean the difference between you reading the sentence and continuing on, or you needing to stop and find out what certain words mean before being able to continue. Alternately, imagine that you're reading a paragraph and you understand what most of the words mean, but the subject is astrophysics and you don't understand how the concepts work. You may need to stop and learn about certain concepts such as special relativity and quantum cosmology. When I was an undergraduate student, I regularly encountered words that I'd never heard of and hadn't encountered at college or during high school. In my field, I encountered words like hegemony, penultimate, and jingoism. Whenever I encountered a new word, I'd write it down and only stop to look it up if not knowing it made it impossible for me to understand what I was reading. Otherwise, I'd look it up later after I finished whatever I was reading. For example, if you were reading a sentence which said that a character was the nicest person in town and that they were gregarious and that everyone loved them, you could probably understand from the context that the word gregarious means someone who is sociable, fond of company, or something similar. You may, however, wrongly guess that the word gregarious is simply another synonym for nice. But this wouldn't matter because you'd still have a mostly good understanding of the sentence and it wouldn't defeat your ability to generally understand what it means and what the character is like. However, if you were reading about a brand new character and the text said only that the person was mercurial and you didn't know what the word mercurial meant, you'd probably need to go and look it up immediately because you wouldn't be able to guess the definition from the context. It may be important for you to know that mercurial means a person who is subject to sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. If you moved on in the reading without learning this definition, you'd fail to understand what you just read and fail to build your vocabulary. As I said, increasing your vocabulary and increasing your knowledge base is easier said than done. And you can't simply snap your fingers and know more words and know about more concepts. However, by keeping track of new words that you encounter, recording them, and then looking them up at the right time, you can increase your vocabulary over time and this will help you read faster. The same goes for building your knowledge base. You may need to stop and invest time into learning about special relativity and quantum cosmology to read a paper about astrophysics, but the next time that you encounter these concepts, you'll understand them and you'll be able to keep reading at a fast pace. So there you have it, my fifth tip on how to read faster. If you learned something new from this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video. And now I'd like to turn it over to you. Is the tip in this video something that you've tried before? And if not, do you think that it may work for you and is something that you may try? Let me know by leaving a comment right now. 